Shalom Akim, all praises to Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shah, by Hashem Rakakadash, double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone, and a salute once again to you sincere brothers out there of the hopeful elect. Okay, and in this video, um, we're going to talk about the third temple, right? Because um, we got a lot of so called Jews, just, which this will further prove that the so called white man claiming to be a Jew is not a real Jew, and that the Most High is not dealing with them, and the simple fact that they they have a plan on building a third temple in Jerusalem in the land of Israel, you know, it, it's not going to come to pass, okay? In fact, even in the kingdom of heaven, there will be no third temple. There will be no more building of a temple, all right? And the um, scriptures tell you that, okay? So, the, you know, these so-called white people that's running around claiming to be the Jews, you know, whether they call themselves Orthodox Jews, Hasidic Jews, Crypto Jews, uh, Ashkenazi, Sephardic Jews, or whatever. <clears throat> the the Lord is clearly not dealing with them. They don't understand the scriptures. All right, they, 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 that 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 imposter role of being a a Jew is basically being exposed that they're not the real people of the Lord. They're not the biblical descendants of the twelve tribes of Israel. You know, or the you know the sons of Jacob. All right. They are, in fact, the biblical Edomites, according to the scriptures. When you uh, read Genesis, the 25th chapter, that goes into the history of Esau. Okay? But there's, you know, there's a big, um, there's a big trend, should I say trend or whatever, that's being spoken about in the Jewish community about a third uh, temple, third Jewish temple. Okay? And I'm going to play um, a clip from from no more news this is a good a good uh channel to check out that um exposes a lot of the plots and plans of these so-called Jews all right this this uh this YouTube channel is is um, ran by Adam Green and um and he goes into a lot about these so-called Jews and their you know their plot to uh establish the Noahide laws and build a you know a Jewish temple, you know as you see, he has another video where they where the so-called Jews uh, plan to destroy the Temple Mount, which is that you know that big dome, that big Islamic dome on the current remains of the uh, the Temple in Jerusalem, which in which that Temple that's in Jerusalem today, where the well and wall is at, that's not even the the that's not even the um. <clears throat> The actual temple that was that uh, King Solomon built from the jump, from the beginning. All right, and um, also when you do the history on that on that temple that's there today, that's supposed to be part of the remains of um, uh, when when uh Cyrus, the king of Persia, you know, allowed um, gave a declaration for Israel to come back into the, into their land and build a temple. All right, and um, and that temple, most of that temple was destroyed during the Roman siege, and what's left of it today is um believed to be what the where the Welling Wall is situated now, and where you also have the dome, this big dome, Islamic uh, dome called the Temple Mount in that land. All right, so the so-called Jews, they they basically want to they want to um. They want to destroy the Temple Mount and engage, you know, start a start a, 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 a big religious war between Muslims and and so-called Jews, all right, and Christians and Muslims and so forth. They just want to bring other chaos to bring forth a, a new world order. And part of their new world order is, you know, part of their order is to establish um, Israel as the capital of the world. Into um and to enforce the Noahide laws in which the world will have to recognize the so-called Jews as the um the so-called Jews, the so-called white man is claiming to be a Jew as the children of God and will basically have to be in subjection unto them, be their slaves. You can't speak out, you can't say anything bad about them, which that that is a penalty that, that can result in death when you when you uh when you study 
or look into the Noah Hyde laws. All right, and you you can see where it's preluding to right now with the ADL and the Southern Poverty Law Center, and um, <clears throat> and all of this um anti anti Semite talk. Whenever you say anything, whenever you bring out any truth about so called white people claiming to be Jews, you know you 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 uh you you your your voice will be will basically be uh will be muted all right they will not allow you your videos to upload they, they will censor you and um and they will make sure you go unheard all right and you know and that's just the small scale and when they if, if they was to actually implicate these Noah high laws they if you say anything disagreeable about the so-called white man being a jew then you will be deemed an anti-Semite and the penalty for that can be death. All right. But um, I'm going to play a clip of this video and I'm going to bring out some scriptures just to prove that, you know, that there's, there's not going to be a, a temple, a physical temple in the kingdom of heaven wherein we'll be sacrificing animals and so forth like we was doing in um in ancient Israel. All right. So these so-called Jews, they got they got it all twisted. They're not the children of the Most High. And, um, and they are in fact the devil man okay but i'm gonna check check some of this video out in these clips messiah now, we will move the american embassy to the eternal capital of the jewish people jerusalem i think president trump has made history this will be remembered the way we remember the cyrus declaration uh, from 2500 years ago when he uh, told the exiles of Babylon, you can go back and rebuild the temple in Jerusalem. This is a historic moment, and we will always remember. You reckon? And um, the, that welfare state of Israel, they're actually acknowledging Trump as the new Cyrus. All right, they're basically saying Trump comes in that spirit of Cyrus. All right, in which Cyrus, King Cyrus, was a Persian. All right, which the, uh, the Persians or my, goes by the modern day name or term Iranians, all right, they're Elamites from, from the nation of Elam. And Donald Trump is, in fact, an Edomite. So it, there's a total difference, man, okay? So an Elamite cannot die and come back a uh, 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 Edomite. Or if you come from out of one particular nation, through the line of your father, when you die and come back reincarnated, you can't come back another nation, okay? So Donald Trump, is he, he's not Cyrus, Okay, and um, he's just basically a puppet for the elites, and um, and he's a slave or under the rule of of these so-called Jews, man. Benjamin Netanyahu, who's the prime minister of Israel, you know they they pretty much run any United States president, man. Okay, not not just Donald Trump. They did the same thing with Barack Obama, Bush, you know, and um, you know. Trump's predecessors, all right? So uh, it's, it's, it's the same thing. So they're trying to compare him to, to Cyrus the Great or Cyrus the Persian. It wasn't really nothing so great about Cyrus. You know, he, he's, you know, the Lord put the spirit on him to have um, Jake come back into the homeland and, and rebuild the temple, all right? But, um, but these devils, their agenda, they're trying to put on his front like they're the, like they're the real Jews when they're not. Okay, and in the scriptures, especially in the New Testament, it it, it 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 talks nothing about a temple being rebuilt. Okay, so I'm gonna let the video play. Is it a reality that everyone else in the West willingly blinds themselves to, and that is that Jerusalem is the one and only capital of Israel. By Trump putting his imprimatur on what has been history for the last three thousand years, and that is that Jerusalem has been the capital of one people's country or one kingdom. That people is the Jews, and that country is and was Israel. The empires that tried to destroy Israel and its capital, Jerusalem, are long gone. Yet the Jews still speak the same language and practice the same religion, which is the foundation of our Judeo-Christian nation. Donald Trump sent Iranians who are the descendants of Persia, a message to reflect on their own history. 
First of all, the so-called Jews, they do not practice the customs of the ancient Israelites. Okay, you have rabbis who, who, are, who are giving infant babies herpes, in which some of them are actually dying because you have these rabbis performing oral circumcisions on them. All right, and that's non-scriptural, man. You know, besides that, there's there's um there's uh, tons of cases where ch children are being molested in these synagogues, in these synagogues and in these yeshivas that these so-called Jews have established, not only in America but all around the world. Okay, so they they do not they do not follow the customs of the ancient Israelites. You have these these so-called Jews. They have uh. Pink City in the land of Israel, which is, which is um, basically a homosexual parade that they have out there in Tel Aviv, and um, and they also have a big homosexual parade out there in Jerusalem, which is supposed to be the capital of Israel, right? These so-called Jews pride themselves of, of being the biblical Israelites and Jerusalem being the capital and this, that, and the third, but they do not follow the Lord's statutes and commandments <clears throat> that are supposed to be kept according to the Bible. All right. Not only not only do they have gay parades out there, but also they eat kosher pork, kosher pig out there in the land of Israel. So they just do everything that the Most High uh, said not to do. So they're not keeping the customs of the ancient uh, Israelites, man. Okay. But you got the big news channels like Fox News, NBC, ABC, CBS. That'll sit there and, and 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 just keep publicizing this 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 uh, fallacy about the so-called white man being the Jews. They keep calling them the Jews, they, or Jewish, or Israeli, or whatever, and just constantly got that broadcasted and and you know shoving the Holocaust down our throat so we can always be reminded of the suffering and pain of, that the so-called Jews have um, endured and, or experienced. Okay. So, they, so they, you know, through witchcraft, they, they basically deceive the world and, and have the majority of these people accepting them as the Jews, when that's really not the case. All right? I'm going to let the video play on. It was the king of Persia, who a thousand years before Mohammed was even born, that said Jerusalem was the capital of the Jewish people's country. There will be no Ottoman empires or Shia nations that will destroy Jerusalem any longer. Donald Trump recognized history. He, like King Cyrus before him, fulfilled the biblical prophecy of the gods worshipped by Jews, Christians, and yes, Muslims, that Jerusalem is the eternal capital of the Jewish state and that the Jewish people finally deserve a righteous, free, and sovereign Israel. <laughs> they make it seem like Donald Trump is just doing this on his own. Donald Trump is the... He, he, He's basically the Rothschild's bitch, and he's also Benjamin Netanyahu's bitch. Anytime you become president of the United States, you belong to to uh, to the Prime Minister of Israel, and you belong to the elites. All right, they're the ones who got their hands up your back or pulling the strings to make you fulfill their agenda. Okay, whether you agree with it or not, you know maybe Donald Trump does agree with what he's doing, but really he has not. He really doesn't have a choice. Because even if he disagreed with it, he would have to do it anyway. All right. So you know they're making it. They're trying to make it seem like he's 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 righteous and he's such a friend of Israel. And this is basically uh, history repeating it, repeating itself. Okay, which is all BS, man. It's all smoke and mirrors and lies and deception. Really consider the embassy in the West just one step in, in the direction of building the temple. It's a huge step. It's not just a step. It's a huge step because it is a step that is bringing together the biblical uh, narrative, the narrative of uh, Esau and Yaakov, the two brothers that were split thousands of years ago. Right now. now, he said Esau and Yaakov. That's how these, these so-called Jews pronounce Esau and Jacob. <coughs> okay. <clears throat> Which are fraternal twin brothers. And, um, and you can see these, these devils, they... First of all, they, they, they're a bunch of snakes and, and you know, slithering demons, man, and lizards and anything vile you could think of, man. All right. But um, in the scriptures, it, 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 never talk, it, it never talks about a reunion between Jacob and Esau. 
Okay? Only, well, that reunion already, really, when you read Genesis, the only time they really was reunited was when Jacob came back to uh, with his uh, with his family and he met up with Esau. All right? But in the in the prophecies, they never it was never spoken of about a reunion between Jacob and Esau. All right? Esau is the only nation out of um out of all the nations that the Most High created that wasn't promised any any um repentance, man. Okay, any repentance, any forgiveness, all right, or any mercy. You know when you read it in the scriptures, because that's in the scriptures, okay, and that's in so-called Jews know that because it's, it's, it's they even they study they study the scriptures. And they even have it in text in their own, own Bible dictionary when it when it talks about Esau. All right. So here it is, the so-called white man trying to upset prophecy, trying to go against prophecy. All right. And you know, with this, with this uh through deception, talking about bringing back uh Jacob, reuniting Jacob and Esau. When you so-called white people that's claiming to be sons of Jacob, you're really Edomites. You're really the Edomites. Okay, and it's in a lot of these so-called Jews, they try to put that that uh that name Esau on the Arabs. When the Arabs are Ishmaelites, they they're not they they have no relationship with Esau whatsoever, man. All right, you so-called white people are the biblical Edomites, and that's it. You're not the Jews. You're not Japhetic. Okay, you are the biblical Edomites, and that's the real reason why they want to take brothers videos down man because that exposure has been coming out these facts according to the scriptures have been coming out through the spirit of Yahweh Bash and Yahweh Shah all right brought together again and this is all part of the biblical narrative we believe that this is this is the, the huge step to the recognition of Jerusalem of Israel and the rebuilding of our third temple right. and the rebuilding of the third temple all right and this is the biblical narrative of Jacob and Esau coming back together that's bullshit man okay but um enough of this these videos, man. You brothers want to check out no more news. Um, it's a lot of good information on on the Jewish plot to take over the whole world. All right, so you, you know, brothers could check it out. It's called um, No More News with Adam Green. Okay, and I'm just going to some scriptures about the temple, man. All right, <clears throat> this is John chapter two, verse eighteen. It says, then answered Yahweh, then answered the Jews and said unto him. What sign showest thou unto us, seeing that thou hast done these things? All right, when you read up what, what the Most High did, is this is when he chased the money changers out, out of the temple, uh, whipping their asses, all right, with a, um, with, a, with, a, um, with, a, with a whip that he made, okay? So, I'm going to read it again. John 2 and 18, it says, Then answered the Jews and said unto him, What sign showest thou unto us, seeing that thou doest these things. Yahweh Shah answered and said unto them, destroy this temple, and in three days I will raise it up. All right, and the temple that he was talking about was talking about his body. It's talking about, well, it, it, it tells you that. As a matter of fact, we're just reading on. It says, then said the Jews, 40 and six years was this temple in building, and will thou rear it up in three days? <clears throat> but he spake of the temple of his body. All right, because we know that the Lord was actually put to death and uh and he resurrected on the third day okay and you know so that so that was symbolic to, to his own body that he was speaking of but also in a spiritual essence it also refers to us coming back waking up as a nation all right the elect of israel the children of israel okay and um <clears throat> matter of fact Matter of fact, where is that in Revelations? Revelations 11 and 8. And their dead bodies shall lie in the street of the great city, which spiritually is called Sodom and Egypt, which is talking about America, where also our Lord was crucified. And they of the people and kindreds and tongues and nations shall see their dead bodies three days and a half, and shall not suffer their dead bodies to be put in graves. All right, and this is talking about you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans as a nation, you have been um, destroyed, man. All right? You're not physically dead, but you're spiritually dead. Okay? And the other nations, people who are of 
who are important, the powers that be in this world, they know that we are the children of Israel. Okay? And they did not, they did not, they did not suffer our dead bodies to be put in graves, meaning what? They didn't give us no rest. Okay, they did not teach us our nationality. They did not uh, you know, they did not share the truth with us of who we really are. Okay? It reads on to say, and they that dwell upon the earth shall rejoice over them and make merry and shall send gifts one to another, because these two prophets tormented them that dwelt on the earth. And the way they made merry and sent gifts to one another was through the transatlantic slave trade. All right? They were sent, we were the gifts that they were sending one to another. They were trading so called Negroes for uh, barrels of rum and for ammunition, for, for uh, guns and weapons of war. All right. And, you know, through our slave labor, we basically built up America, made this country great or prosperous. All right. It reads on to say, and after three days and in half, the spirit of life from the most high entered into them. And that three days and a half is talking about 300, uh, 350 years. OK, from the time when the bulk of the slaves came over here to the Americas, which is around uh, 1619, okay, until the year 1970. You know, 19, 19, um, to 1969, <coughs> when, <coughs> when Abba Bivens, Salaki, and the spirit got on uh, certain men, Abba Bivens, and, 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 and um, you know, High Priest Yaikwab, King Mashal, and, and you know these these uh these prophets, you know the, the revelation was coming out unto them that we are the children of Israel, so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans. All right, and and here it rests that spirit rests on us even unto this very day, and it's growing. All right, so it says, and after three days and a half, the spirit of life from the Most High entered into them. You know, that life rep represents this truth, the spirit of Yahweh Shah. We found out who we are. You know, no thanks to the so-called white man in the other nations. But we found out through the spirit of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shah. All right? And it says, and they stood upon their feet, and great fear fell upon them which saw them. That's right. So now we're, we, we, we've come to the recognition that we're the children of Israel. You know, and these prophecies are about to start coming to pass, and we've exposed who the so-called white man is, according to the Bible, and great fear is falling upon them, you know, because um, we're basically perceived as a threat, yet we've never put hands on anybody, we don't go out there with weapons, and shotguns, and, 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 and rifles, like, like, like a lot of them other black militant groups used to do, like the Black Panthers, all right, used to step on, um, used to be right at the doorsteps of, of courthouses, Armed to the T. All right, we haven't we haven't sparked up race wars. You know we we, we are. You know we, we don't um. We we don't have a, a a plot to tear down this government. You know, or we're not trying to cause a revolution or anything like that. You know, what do we do? We just basically go out on the highways and the byways and we teach the Bible. But that's what the, the that's what the so-called white man fears, and that's what the other nations fear. So great fear is falling upon them, the elites of the society, because what we're telling them, they're down for. We're prophesying unto them. Okay, we're not telling them that we're gonna beat you up and and kill you and kidnap you and and you know, and 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 we're not smacking people up and beating people up that walk by our camp that disagrees with this word. We're strictly, we're simply teaching, and that's what, we're simply teaching the truth, and that's what these devils fear, man, all right? So, that's that spirit, that's the temple, that's part of the temple, because, um, <clears throat> 1 Corinthians 6 and 19, it says, what? Know ye not that your body is the temple of the Holy Spirit, which is in you, which ye have of the Most High, and ye are not your own? So, the temple is talking about our bodies, it's talking about our persons, you know, as a nation, 12 tribes of the nation of Israel, the house of David. We are the temple, you know? Each and every individual is a block that makes up the temple. And that's what Yahweh Shah was also speaking about. 
you know, not only his, not only himself being put to death and then resurrecting after three days, but also us as a nation being built back up. You know, us being put to death. We went, at one time we knew who we were. You know, we knew who we were spiritually. We kept our ancient customs of our forefathers, the children of Israel. All right, but through slavery, uh, we we through slavery we we lost our nationality through slavery and miseducation. Okay, but through the spirit, you know, the Lord had set up certain men in which he put a spirit upon them and did some some hardcore research through the scriptures and found out who we are, man, and shared this knowledge publicly with our people. And the elect was chosen to understand it. <coughs> All right, this is uh, 2 Corinthians chapter 6, verse 16. And what, agree and what agreement has the temple of the Most High with idols? All right. Yeah, you got a lot of our people into idolatry. You know, you can't bring idols into the temple of the Most High. The Most High, the, the first commandment is that you shall have no other gods before the Heavenly Father. So for you to bring idols into the temple of the Lord and, 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 and bow down to idols, that's, a, that's the, a, the ultimate spit in the face to the Most High. All right. There is no agreement with the Most High and idols because there is no, there is no other God. But the heavenly father all right it says in what agreement has the temple of the most high with idols for ye are the temple of the living power yes we are the temple of the living power the heavenly father his spirit dwells with, within us all right that righteous spirit okay that righteous spirit is really in all jakes man all so-called negroes latinos and native americans you know we we all have a a a a, a, a conscience man Okay, but the, the but the gift of understanding the word of the heavenly Father was given unto the elect. It says, as the Most High has have said, I will dwell in them and walk in them, and I will be their power, and they shall be my people. So that's the temple. The people make up the temple of the Most High. All right, the children of Israel. Okay, this is um. It's Acts chapter 17, verse 24. Uh, the Most High that made the world and all things therein, seeing that he is the Lord of heaven and earth, dwelleth not in temples made with hands. You know, and these so-called white people claiming to be Jews, they're so carnal that it's evident, man. They, they have a goal on, on trying to uh, rebuild the temple. You know, the third... They want to make the third temple, you know, and that's because they don't, first of all, they're, they're the devil. So they, they don't, of course, they don't believe in the Most High. They don't believe in his son. Okay. Because in the kingdom of heaven, the Most High and his son is going to be with us and we will have no need of the temple. All right. And plus, <clears throat> when you look at the temple, the temple was basically set up for what? For us, for, for us to, of course, worship the Most High, but... Most importantly, because we used to go off, you would have to make sacrifices in the temple. And in the kingdom of heaven, we're not going to have to make any sacrifices because we're not going to go off. We're not going to commit sins. All right. But these so-called Jews, they're running around talking about building the third temple. OK, look, the, 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 the third Jewish temple prophecy. There is no third Jewish temple prophecy, man. OK. All right. You know, they, they worded it, the third Jewish temple prophecy. Well, that prophecy of the third of the third temple is talking about the nation of Israel, God's people. Which are you so-called Negroes, Latinos and Native Americans uh, coming back into power, being set up in the kingdom of heaven to rule the planet Earth. OK. <coughs> Acts 17 and 24, the most high that made the world and all things therein. Seeing that he is the he is Lord of heaven and earth, dwelleth not in temples made with hands. That's right. There's nothing in the world that can, in, in this carnal world that can contain the spirit spirit of the Most High. Okay, the Most High is mag he's magnificent, man. You know, he's to, he's to be magnified and glorified, man. He's not gonna come here and dwell in some. Temple that that man made. 
Nothing carnal. The most high is spiritual, man. It says, neither is worship with men's hands as though he needed anything, seeing he giveth to all life and breath and all things. Okay? So you so-called Jews running around talking about the building the third temple, you, you're not spiritual at all because you're not the real Jews. All right? You're nothing more than some vile, wicked beasts that are known as the nation of Edom. As simple as that. This is Luke chapter 17, verse verse uh, 20. And when he was demanded of the Pharisees, when the kingdom of the Most High should come, he answered them and said, the kingdom of the Most High cometh not with observation. Right? Because you got a lot of our people, they're looking, especially you guys that are into the um, Jehovah Witness faith. Y'all really literally looking for the kingdom of heaven to drop from out of the sky. Okay? And most importantly, <coughs> uh, our people are seeking rest and comfort in this world, man. A lot of our people, they think that America is the king. You know, back during the time of slavery, uh, you know, when slavery was, was abolished, so to speak, you know, a lot of our people, um, they migrated to the northern cities thinking that that was like, like that was going to be a, 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 a place where they wasn't going to experience racism. They were going to get a fair deal, equal opportunities and, um, and, 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 um, and be able to prosper. All right. It was like a kingdom, uh, like a kingdom, the kingdom of heaven to them. All right. And that's what they observed. You had, you see the big thing going on with this Harriet Tubman thing, right? Now Harriet Tubman, uh, do the run, call it the runaway train. The, I forget, oh, the Underground Railroad. It's a lot of runaway train, what I'm talking about. The Underground Railroad, you know, which was, um, in which, you know, a lot of, um, slaves escaped captivity in the South and, and fled up North, you know, through different, uh, circuits. All right. <coughs> but the kingdom of the Most High cometh not with ob observation. Okay. The kingdom of the Most High is not in this world, man. This is Satan's world. So there's not no matter where you so-called Negroes, Puerto Ricans, Mexicans go. All right. A lot of you Mexicans are, are fleeing across the border to America. Like, 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 like this is going to be a, a, a prosperous land for you, man. A place to call home. And all your worries will be done away with when, once you get here. But there is no place in this world where you will find rest. Because this is Satan's world. This is Satan's kingdom. The so-called white man. All right? He's ruling the whole world. And yes, he is the devil. Okay? It says, neither shall they say, low here or low there. For behold, the kingdom of the Most High is within you. Yeah, the kingdom of the Most High is within you. Okay? You're the temple of the Most High. You're the Most High's temple. Okay? The kingdom of the Most High is within you. So there's no place in the world where you can go to find the kingdom of the Most High. You know, uh, uh, the, 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 the power structure of this world has to be destroyed. And then our kingdom will be set up. You know, that's that's how it works, man. Okay, there's no safe haven for you Jakes in this society, man. All right. You can only be saved through the, through the scriptures and through having faith of Yahweh and Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shah. That's it. <clears throat> okay, um, it's back in Revelation, the 11th chapter, go up to the first verse, because you had this devil sitting there talking about bringing Jacob and Esau together and, 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 um, and you know, that that's the, the narrative of the Bible. All right. Well, that's not, that's not, uh, biblical, man. And that's not scriptural. This is Revelation chapter 11, verse one. It says, and it was given me a reed like unto a rod and the angel stood saying, rise and measure the temple of the Most High." All right. It's not talking about an actual building. Okay. This is talking about the nation of Israel. It says, and the altar and them that worship therein. But the court, which is without the temple, leave out and measure it not, for it is given unto the Gentiles. 
That's right. So the, the other nations, which Edom or the, the the descendants of Esau, they are Gentiles. You know, just like the Chinese, Japanese, which are the Moabites and the Ammonites, just like the Hamites, which are the Africans, just like the Ishmaelites, which are the Arabs, just like the Elamites, which are the East Indians, okay, and, uh, and the Japhetic people, which are um, Aborigines of Australia and um, Pacific Islanders, okay, they're all Gentiles. They're not, they have no part in this temple because the, the spirit of the Most High is not dwelling in them. He doesn't deal with with the other nations. He's only dealing with the nation of Israel. All right. So it says, but the court, which is without the temple, leave out. Okay. Who's without the temple? The other nations. Starting with the so-called white man. It says, and measure it not, for it is given unto the Gentiles. So that is straight up discrimination. The Lord is not dealing with the other nations. In the holy city shall they tread underfoot 40 and two months. And the holy city represents Israel. All right, that represents uh, represents Israel, and the forty two months is three and a half days or three hundred and fifty years. Okay. <coughs> All right. Um, I said on that that part. I have one more scripture. This is Revelations uh, chapter twenty one verse fourteen. Because the kingdom of heaven, right, uh, will actually be established on earth. And yeah, we will have a city. You know, our city will be beautiful, unlike this madness that you see today. You know, our city is going to be adorned with uh with all kind of uh, precious red gemstones, okay, and um and uh, precious valuable metals. All right, not like this this you know this concrete slab and steel and glass. Uh jungle that we live in today man that the so-called white man is built and it's not going to be defiled our cities man all right this is revelations chapter 21 verse 14 it says and the wall of the city had 12 foundations and in them the names of the 12 apostles of the land and those 12 foundations 12 pillars the founders of the of the uh of the church who which are the, basically the disciples who followed the lord around man Okay, tells you that in Matthew's the um, I think it's Matthew's the nineteenth chapter when Peter asks asks Yahweh Shah, uh, what are we going to receive for following after him? And the Lord said, basically said, um, anyone who who forsaken uh, our houses, wives, brothers, fa you know, family members, occupations, or whatever. You're going to receive everything uh, a hundredfold in the regeneration, judging the 12 tribes of the nation of Israel. All right. So, you know, the Lord always kept that vibration of 12. OK, it says in the wall of the city had 12 foundations and in them the names of the 12 apostles of the land. OK, those are the ones who forsook everything to follow the Lord, the disciples. It says, and he that talked with me had a golden reed to measure the city. Going back to Revelation, the 11th chapter, all right, which, which that's talking about the children of Israel, <clears throat> okay, and the this, this the actual physical city that these heathens are going to build up for us, you know, because they're going to be our slaves in the kingdom of heaven. It says, in the gates thereof, and the wall thereof, in the city lie a four, four square, and the length is as large as the breadth. And he measured the city with the reed, 12,000 furlongs, and the length and the breadth and the height of it are all equal. And he measured the wall thereof in 140 and four cubits, which represents the 144,000, right? It says, according to the measure of a man, that is of the angel, okay? So, the, you know, the city of Jerusalem, every prophet, every 144,000 prophet is going to have um, a portion of the city. All right, it says, <clears throat> and the building of the wall of it was of jasper, and the city was pure gold like unto clear glass. So this is going to be a beautiful city, man. All right, the, the kingdom of heaven and the city of Jerusalem is going to be is is it, it's going to be a uh, breathtaking, man. All right, and you can kind of try to picture 
what John the Revelator saw. Okay, I mean you you, you can only um you can only imagine. All right, but um yeah, it's gonna be a city like no other. So it, that shows you that our kingdom is gonna rule forever because the way it's being described, there's, there can be nothing better than it, man. Okay, it says, and the foundations of the wall of the city were garnished with all manner of precious stones. The first foundation was jasper, the second sapphire, the third chalcedony, the fourth an emerald, the fifth sardonyx, the sixth sardius, the seventh chrysolite, the eighth beryl, the ninth a topaz, the tenth a Christ a chrysoprasus. I'm not sure how to pronounce some of these um these stones. And Esau doesn't even know most of these stones. A lot of these is specul a lot of these is speculation. You have some. Uh, people that, that study, you know, um, precious gems and what whatnot, they, you know, that have read uh, the scriptures, and a lot of them, some of them disagree on certain things of what what stone is, is what stone is what. But in the kingdom, we we would definitely know. We would know for, know for certain, okay, because we will fulfill this prophecy, man. You know, we're gonna have the other nations mining up all of these different stones and all of this gold and precious metals for us, all right, so that they can build our kingdom. It says the 11th adjacent, the 12th and amethyst, and the 12 gates were 12 pearls. So you're going to have pearls, right? You know? And notice that out of all these stones, it, it, it never mentioned a diamond, you know? And now, nowadays, a diamond is, most people look at a diamond like that's the most precious stone in the world. But the scriptures never even mention a diamond as being precious in the kingdom of heaven. You know, the scriptures talk about diamonds, but it's not it's not mentioned as one of those precious stones that will be that will adorn the kingdom of heaven. All right. <clears throat> but um, it says in the twelve gates were twelve pearls. Every several gate was of one pearl, and the street of the city was pure gold, as it was trans as it were transparent glass. All right, so you can see how glorious and how much splendor our kingdom is going to have. All right, we, we, one, we're going to keep all the laws of the Bible. We're going to keep the land Sabbath and do right by the planet Earth, and it's going to yield to us its full strength. Okay, and these other nations, they're going to have to work the field and mine and dig up all of these precious metals and and, and uh, precious gemstones for us. Okay, it's and it reads. And I saw no temple therein. And I saw no temple therein. For the Lord Yahweh, Alashadya, right? The almighty, terrible, demon-like power talking about Yahweh. And the Lamb are the temple of it. So there's not going to be a third temple in the kingdom of heaven. All right? This is the proof right here, Revelations 21 and 22. There's not going to be any physical temple in our kingdom. There will be no need for it because the Lord is going. The Lord is going to be there, and Yahweh Shah is going to be there. And on top of that, we're going to be so perfect, like the Lord told us to be perfect, like His Father in heaven. We are going to be perfect, like the Heavenly Father. So there will be no need for us to have a temple to make sacrifices or atonements for our sins because we're not going to be sinning. Okay. So there's not going to be a temple. <clears throat> it says, And the city had no need of the sun, neither of the moon, to shine in it, for the glory of the Most High did lighten it, and the Lamb is the light thereof. <laughs> All right? Yeah. Because the Most High is going is to be constantly with us. His glory will constantly be with us, man. All right? It, the scriptures tell you, matter of fact, in the one, one quick scripture. All right? Because the glory of the Lord, yeah, is going to constantly be there. All right, I say a four. Okay, because um, all right. Let me see. Isaiah chapter four, verse five. It says, "And the Lord will create upon every dwelling place of Mount Zion." All right, and we're going to dwell in Jerusalem. We're going to dwell in the land of Israel. We're going to have different cities, you know, different places to dwell in. You know, throughout Israel and throughout the world, and we're going to also go uh, beyond the planet Earth, right? It says, and the Lord will create upon every dwelling place 
of Mount Zion, which Mount Zion, the Hebrew word to Zion, which means monument. And the Lord is only remembering Israel, his covenant that he kept with the forefathers, with, with you know, with the patriot, Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. You know, that's the Lord's monument. It says, and upon her assemblies, a cloud and smoke by day in the shining of a flaming fire by night for upon all the glory shall be a defense. Okay, so there's going to there's going to be constant uh, chariots hovering above our cities and wherever we dwell, man, which is the glory of the Lord. Okay, so we ain't going to need no temple, man. We're not going to need a temple. It's not going to be a third temple. All right. So, you know, I know this video is kind of long, but I hope you brothers been edified, man. I'm going to end it on that note. And I'm going to say Shalom Wabarakim to you brothers out there. And I'll see you in the next video.